What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to draft number three of the shocking return of Frank and Kerwit drafting. What is this? What is this called? A cube. Is a cube? Cube. Is this a magic cylinder? A sphere? What's I don't I don't know what it's called. A rectangle. It might be a rectangle. I don't know what it means, but apparently it's got a lot of cards in it. Some are Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A three-dimensional polyhedron. Some are. Are all polyhedrons three-dimensional? Or do you have to specify that one is three-dimensional? What do I look like? A scientist? I, I I don't know. Maybe. Is it Gristlebrand or is it Kozilek? I kind of like Kozilek. Over Gristlebrand? I mean, I've always been kind of partial to Kozilek, but Gristlebrand... Kozilek specifically or Eldrazi? No, Kozilek specifically. Okay. Because, like, the first time we, like, drafted uh, Rise, that I got Kozilek. That's for you, buddy. Oh, now we get an Ugin. So if we hit like channel or something. Do it. Yeah, we're living this this colorless dream here. Yeah, like three hours ago, I was like, someone should refill the sodas. And Michael's like, I'll do it. And then he never did it. So now there's no cold sodas in the fridge. Now we drink warm soda. Yeah. Like cavemen before they had refrigeration, but, but, but still had sodas. And aluminum. Yes. They had... Aluminum, uh, a processing plant to make cans and sodas, but no refrigeration. It was a weird time. Well, refrigeration is actually quite new. Yeah, it's not. It's 20th century, right? Mm. Do you think they're ever going to make their picks so we can? No. I didn't think so either. We're trapped here forever. Well, that's unfortunate. Are those the fans that came with your... Uh... The AOI? Yeah. Yes. AIO? AIO, not AOI. I like Mystic Confluence. And nothing in here is encouraging me not to take the Mystic Confluence. Yeah. Force communication is unread. Mystic Confluence. Like a Sylvan Carry edit. Let's try to be green blue and just cast these big fat idiots. How's that sound? Big fatties. Or do we want the Thieving Skydiver? Dang it. Really? Yeah. I'm going to trust you. You're visiting, so. All right, we're taking Lumbering Falls. Old Lumbery. Old Lumberino. I don't want to. What is this? Oh, that's a little pull tab. I was like, what is this? Ball Drifter. Mm -hmm. Big Mully D. Brainstorm. Or Brain Freeze. Brain anything. It's unfortunate. What if there was a call called Brandstorm and it was really a faint fiber? <laughs> I think Michael had a Brandstorm before he went for his walk. It's your boy. I think we should take the Shinobi. Do you think so? Yeah. We got Mole Drifter. Yeah. You know what? Oh, let's take a Gilded Lotus. It helps us cast both of these. It sure does. Oh, man. Sultai in the house. We're doing it. We're living that dream. This deck's already going to win. It feels better already because it's got more cards that I'm really fond of. Instead of like boring Resto and Karma Guide, we have things like Muldrifter and Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, this deck's going to take us all the way to the Pro Tour. <laughs> That's just... nothing, nothing about that sentence is correct. <laughs> oh, good times. Dude, the worst part about Christmas is not the Mariah Carey song. It's the Mariah Carey song getting stuck in your head forever. Progenitus could be decent if we get the old uh, natural order or something, but I think it's just Glenny. Because Glenny also, you can bounce for your fallen Shinobi. Mirari's way. Wait, what creatures do we have so far? I... <sighs> yeah, it's probably It's like good. once you hit like Sylvan Carry added and like any kind of mediocre creatures, it's just worse. Jeez, now they're like, now we're drying up here. Oh, this is actually a decent land. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Got that black splash on lockdown. Sure. Oh, Yogmoth? What the hell? All right. Oh, thank you, Michael. 
All my guants for Christmas is to poo. Fast okay, now you're good. <laughs> I I would even I can't even be sold on fractured identity, but is that Hunter? Maybe fast bomb with wheels. Why is Hunter outside by himself? I don't think he is. But Watson's inside. Hey, is Hunter outside? Anyway, I'm taking Mana Drain. Oh, I like big tinks, but none of these are artifacts yet. Dang it. A little tinky. <laughs> A little stinky. Birthing pot, is that? No. Birthing pot is always terrible. I hate that they keep putting it back in here. It's so hard Take to make. Narset. I don't mind Narset. I think you're muted. Yeah. When... You got to be careful because there's a mute button right there that you pressed. Am I not muted now? See, talk now. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you're also you also turned your volume way down. So. I, didn't touch anything. I don't believe you. Hello. Hello. Now you're just done. Now you just can't be a part of the stream anymore. Is it Hydroid Crassus? I don't know anymore, man. I think it's Tinker. No, it's not. It's Crassus. We can play Crassus for cheap. Mm -hmm. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx for sure. Um, Hold on. Let me try to fix your microphone because I don't know why it's not working. Behemoth's not bad either. What did you do? I didn't touch it. I don't believe you. It plugged in. What the fudge? That's correct. How about now? Oh my god. This is really strange. I don't know why Kurt's microphone isn't working. And no one said anything either. That's very weird. Can you guys confirm or deny whether you can hear Kurt? Did you leave him outside? Just forget him out there? Okay, you did it again. See, like, you can't hit right here because it mutes it, so don't touch this area. But that does that still doesn't change the fact that you're not. How about now? No, still not. I like Teferi. Factor Fiction? Oh, no, wait. I was thinking of... Uh... Factor Fiction is still good. I was thinking of Eureka. But I don't know why your microphone's not working. So I guess 100%. This is really weird. You can hear him, but can you hear him on my microphone? Like... Yeah, I must be going through yours. Yeah, because his is not working at all. That just changes the... It changes which volume you're adjusting. I see. Yeah, only picking up through mine. Yeah, that's what I figured. <sighs> yeah, you should uh, unplug it and plug it back in. Oh, maybe. I mean, what the hell? It's getting power, so I know it's connected somewhere. I want to take Fintorn Elves here, ironically, just because it helps us cast our things. I like Woodfall Primus. How about now? Try again? No, nope, that's, oh, just, no, no, that's, that's, that's just me. Properties. Let's turn to Sure to Guest. Try Hello? Again. That looks like it's working. Yep, I think you just, I think we got it. I don't know what it did, but Life all right, I think we're on. good now. Windswept I think we have enough big things. We don't have anything to get with Windswept yet. I think it just might be Arbor Elf. I just want some cheap creatures. Breeding Pool is a good one. I also like Through the Breach, but we only have Kozilek and it's red, so we're just going to take the B Pool. Eureka? I actually kind of like Eureka in decks like this. It's just fun. Oh, Bayou? We're hitting all the good colors now. Mm. Mm. Ooh, fast behind wield. Is that good? I mean, what else are you going to take from here? Oh, nothing. So, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, we could still get, like, a Titan Twister or something. Still Echo? That's weird. I don't know why that'd be Echo. Still Echo now? Right now. Hello? Am I echoing? Yeah, mine's picking you up. Mm. And I don't know why. Oh, um, hold on. Let me try noise reduction on yours. I don't think it's might not be enabled. Let's 
interesting. Uh, oh, Sword of Body and Mind. Still nothing great for Tinker. Maybe I'll just take the sword for now. Actually, Infernal Grasp is probably good. Let's take Infernal Grasp. Crucible? Just in case? Yeah, I don't know why it's picking you up on mine. That's super weird. It wasn't doing that a little bit ago. Can you turn down your sensitivity or something? But we didn't change it is the problem. True. Like, that just turns on decimal. I kind of want the gain down. Can you take value? Is that what it's on? Yeah. Yep, guess so. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this white smorgasbord of cards here. Nobody wants to play white. Some people do. No, they don't. No. Oh. I've made a terrible mistake. Take a sign of yeah, I'll take a scrub lane in case we want to splash in Marari's wake, huh? Dude, we got a nice white sideboard. It's true. We got a Wrath, Flicker Wisp, Sun Titan. Hopefully, we got past the great uh, microphone debacle of 2021. Forgot what year it was for a second. Imagine uh, Consecrated Sphinx plus Time Spiral plus. Fast bond. Plus, I think I think I fixed it by lowering my gain a little bit. Courser. Courser's good, and one of the main reasons I would try to play fast bond. Is there anything else in here that's good? Devoted druid, maybe. I think Corsic's good. I agree. No, oh, yeah, you can get out of there. Also, we got that mana drain. And. It's pretty decent cards to anyone in chat played ring fit adventure on switch we're gonna stream that next yeah we're gonna stream katie playing ring fit adventure yeah i think that it was because the gain was all the way up on my mic and so i fixed it i lowered a little bit natural order big treach uh we have like no green yeah, top too bad end. we didn't take that progenitus. <laughs> we ha yeah, we have Terastodon, but I don't think that's good yeah. enough. I think I'd rather have just treachery. Yeah. Or even Demir Signet. Heartbeat. I think treachery is better. Heartbeat a wheel though. Ain't nobody want no heartbeat. Time we're gonna go get hot cocoa. You say hot cocoa or hot chocolate? Cocoa. Okay. Cocoa. <laughs> it's like he said it so stern as if like, you know I call it cocoa because I just called it that. <laughs> because infilling your patients for tech problems than I do occur would be off the stream. And you're like, nope, I can't fix it. You got to go. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Um, Flavor? Flavor? Slaver. Oh. Although Dismember is not bad. I just like tireless tracker. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, tireless tracker, fast bond. Mm, see, now you're cluing it up. Now you're clued in. Spencer's. Oh, bond. man, Academy Ruins. Oh, I kind of like Creeping Guitar Pit. Could oh, because Slaver Lock. I mean, you need we need something yeah, like, yeah. like Talarian Academy for that nonsense. I think it's Creeping Guitar Pit. The fixing's good. Could also be just worn power stone with this mana base or with this this top end we got here. Yeah. I mean, we only got one black card, right? Or two, I guess. Infernal Grasp and, and, and yeah, and Fallen Shinobi. And we got plenty of Shinoobs already. We have Hissing, Blooming, and Bayou, plus Sylvan Carry added. Mm -hmm. And the Gilded Lotus. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this guy. Oh, we're oh, this upheaval could be great. We already got fast bond. Mm. Oh, we're upheavaling, bro. Bale for Strix, not bad too, but upheaval is better. Oh, like old old Eben 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 Death Draco Lich. I couldn't think of I couldn't I couldn't say his name. Man, everything else in this pack is garbage. Actually mask arm? Oh yeah, take the mask yes. arm. Huh. <coughs> there it is. One per stream. <sighs> sure. Triple black's rough, but Oh this card's fine. This inspire oh, that's that weird one. Yeah, it's to draw three for three unless you you know if you if you only want to keep four cards in your hand for the rest of the game. Makeshift mannequin? That doesn't help us at all, does it? No, this guy doesn't go to the graveyard. And we don't really have ways to get things in the graveyard. I'm just gonna take the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the fixer. 
because we have like double blue double green double green double blue double blue double blue double blue three green on turn one I don't want to watch on Christmas. Do, 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 do. Pulp, Pulp Breacher. Signer? 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 Signer for the Mari's Wake. Or Maelstrom Pulse or Hullbreaker Horror. Those are our options. I feel like we were never able to cast Hullbreaker Horror last time. I feel like this would be the deck to do it, but also, is this pack two or three? This is three. I think it just might be Signet. We don't have a ton of ways to get rid of things. Maybe Maelstrom Pulse is better? I don't actually know. It would be good against uh, Shark Typhoon. Oh, look. Two two on-color lands. I would go with a Propellant. Okay. Already, nice also, this comes into play early, which we kind of want with these guys, and it helps cast Mana Drain, which is... Heartbeat Wheel. I don't think it matters, but I'll take it for you, buddy. Bone? Sure. I'll take a Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder is ready. Is he ready? Always ready. Hashtag always ready. Show and tell. <laughs> we can have show and tell and Eureka. Eureka's just one, right? No. Eureka is each player does it until they run out. Each player may put a permanent from their hand on the battlefield. Repeat this until no one does it. Is, is show and tell the same thing? Show and tell is each player puts an artifact, creature, or enchantment. So the thing about this is you can put planeswalkers into play. Mm -hmm. This is only 22. I think we just play Terrastin on and call it a day. Can I turn the mic off again? No, it's still on. Yeah, you, no, you muted it again. What? Yeah, you hit it over here. It's red. I don't think I even touched it. Well, it didn't do it by itself. Maybe it did. <laughs> just don't touch this little area if you're gonna grab it grab it by like here yeah or the arm arm is good too yeah that's <laughs> Jesus. i didn't do anything well it didn't mute itself buddy i beg a differ okay you can differ okay okay well see now it's picking you up a little bit that's weird or me up on you let's get away let's get away See if that does any... Yeah, it's a little better. Because these are all front of the rest mics. So, as long as the front is facing towards your mouth, they don't pick up a ton. So, are we going to play Mariah's Wake? No, I don't think so. We have literally one scrub land to do it. It seems a little... And that Signet. And the guilt... Did we get the Signet? No, we didn't take it. We took Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, you're trying to trick me. We got carry added, though. <laughs> well, then now I'm sold. Yeah. I think we're just playing like this. This is, looks good. Mana value. No, color. Yeah, there we go. Okay, black sources. We have one, two, three. For like three black cards. Probably. A, that looks, that's fine. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, nine. I think nine nine eleven's fine. You think nine eleven's fine? <laughs> Someone needs to clip that. <laughs> Out of context, that's amazing. Nine eleven's fine. You think nine eleven's fine? <laughs> oh God. Talk about the incriminating clips. Wow, well, Frank is a 9-11 apologist. Jet fuel can't melt, melt steel. Yeah. <laughs> can't melt steel memes. It was an inside job. Good grief. Oh, what up, Kyle? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Sometimes you gotta keep some vice grips on your desk, you know? You never know when you need to grip. Or vice. Or grip the vice. You should. He deserves the finger arms. I don't even know what that means. You should combine the vice grip and the hammer. 
Oh, we did it. You mean like make one device that's a vice grip and a hammer in one? No, I mean just clamp the vice grip onto the hammer. Okay. I feel like we'd have to loosen it up a little bit, though. The jaws are a little too... You know what? Let's play our match first. And then we'll deal with the uh, Frankenstein tools. Stick around to the end of the match if you want to see the uh, oh, vice snap. grip hammer. Snap keep. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to do those things. It's a great way to support the channel. I love hearing these random geese just flying overhead. Blue source. Dang it. Get busy tracking. Mm -hmm. Super Nifty Ninja, have a, have a Merry Christmas, buddy. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Give me a blue source off the top of the deck. I don't even care. Do, 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 do. Killer Pilgrim. I can, but... God, boy, is that not exciting. I'm probably going to draw a card here, though. And I should have cracked that. You definitely should have. Yeah, thank you for... <laughs> I'm glad you knew. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Wow, he's just going to deal one less damage. Clicking through good. that real quick. Yep. It's really distracting. I'm like reading chat. I'm talking to Kerwet and I'm listening to these geese. Dude, I like those uh, those geese emotes in the chat. Yeah, those are solid. I like the red outline on them. It makes them feel especially threatening. See, I thought it said use only as a sorcery. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, well, just now, see, now we're going to Maelstrom Pulse that idiot. That's a good call. Thank you. Breeding pool one time, it'd be amazing. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, Fudge McMudge. What do you do? Attack him with Tireless Tracker? Yeah. And then if he blocks, we Maelstrom the Gideon. If he doesn't block. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I think this calls for a you done messed up a a Ron. That's why we kept that land. Bane phase. I kind of actually want to kill my own arbor elf to get a an island here. Do it. Those are the pro level plays. I liked it. Where's the honking mic when you need him? He's I think he's taking a shower. He had to wipe the filth off his body. Oh, that's both conquerors death. I mean being able to go Ugin eventually and negative five it that seems alright. Let's go big tracks. Land. Big pass. Why'd you tap the black for that? I don't know. Why not? Because then you still use Maelstrom Pulse. This is a sorcery, you, s you biscuit. <laughs> I was just testing you. <laughs> Clearly I knew that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, snap. Now you can uh, Maelstrom Pulse all his tokens. That's actually... Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, they're probably going to get him back. They're going to try to get it back with uh, Elspeth next turn. So, like, might as well kill him now. We can also just upheaval all his tokens as well. Oh, we're just going to man mana drain this for sure. Get wrecked. No, I guess I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll add a second blue for that. Dude, what are you going to do with all that extra money? Wait, what? Why does it cost a million? Oh my god, because of their thing! Still have enough? No, I don't. This makes all my spells cost two more, so that's good. No! Yep, that's pretty good. Wow, that was really... Wow, that was surprisingly good. Yeah, okay, this is a lot of things. 
six. Dude, if we can just land Ugin, it's very good here. <laughs> they have two mana away from Ugin. We're two mana away from Ugin. I don't think there's a thing we can draw that does that helps that situation. Fast spawn and upheaval would be decent. Mm. Could have two trackers. Probably just gonna block here. I don't want to go down to twelve when they have this much pressure on the board, especially when they can like ultimate Garrick next turn. Mm. It's too bad because next turn you could have pulsed both of them. That's true. Good stuff. Well, that's good. It's not. What we're looking for a land here, though. Papa needs a land. Can't cast treachery, right? Yeah, we can. One, two, three, four, five, and then we just. Is it only spells that that Elspeth thing does? Oh, uh, it only uh, non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more until your next turn. I see. Wait, wait. It does cost seven, doesn't it? Oh God, this is terrible. Boy, yeah, this is bad. Jeez. Wow, Elspeth Conquers this second ability is really wrecking us this match. I think we actually... Oh, get, we can't even get rid of the Garrett because this costs five and we can't do anything else. Good grief. The problem is if they get back Gideon and Ultimate Garrick, it's plus four, plus four to everything. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus 12, it's 21. Even if I soak up six with Sphinx. Oh my god. This is brutal. I might just have to Maelstrom Pulse this. Which feels terrible. And if we hit any land this turn, it would have been great. Because then we can still keep up Mana Drain. But cool. So now they can get back either Gideon or Garrick. Wow. It's too bad Treachery won't hit Planeswalkers. They ult him again just to get there. Why look look at the difference in tech sizes on these. That's so weird. <laughs> well, I don't I can't understand why that would do that. Are we dead? Six, ten, thirteen. Now we're 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 two sh we're one shy if they pop this clue, actually. Oh, maybe they're doing something else. Sure. We get a land we can uh, upheaval, right? We can upheaval now. But then they just go land Avacyn's Pilgrim. So unless we have like a two drop. Upheaval here, unfortunately. Oh, um. No, we can't really steal anything. You know, let's just upheaval or replay Botanical Sanctum. Too bad they didn't save mana to crack their clue. Okay, so we got forest, forest, forest. I, uh, plains, plains. Gideon, pilgrim, tracker, whisper, manifest. Okay. Sanctum. Uh, yep. And then pass. So what do we have? Ten cards. We got to discard three. Terastodon can go. Swamp can go. Forest can go for now. Forest. Pilgrim. I mean, this is a 3-3, three, three, so we die in two turns to the stupid Pilgrim, which is kind of hilarious.
Whisperwood. So they got rid of forest, 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 plains. So forest, 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 plains, Whisperwood. So they have one land left? Or whatever they would have had in hand. That we know of. I mean, ideally, they don't, they don't attack us. They just play a three drop. <laughs> oh, wow. They are going to play a three drop. Get wrecked. Look at all the mana we're going to get. That's pretty interesting. We got three. Do we have we enough have for six Sphinx? total mana? We can play Sphinx. We can also play Crassus for four, which is actually pretty healthy here. Sphinx might be better, though. Yeah. All them cards. So Tracker is gone. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Eureka putting in Treachery, Ugin. What would they be putting in, though? Oh, they just ousted my guy. Sure. Another forest. We know one of the cards is a plains. And one of them is... No, they're just playing another four drop. No, they're playing a three drop because they ousted. Oh, they're going to get wrecked. It doesn't matter what they put in because we just Ugin, right? Yeah. I mean, as long... Yeah, I guess as long as it's not over eight toughness. No, mana value. Mana value, yeah. or seven. Yeah, over seven, right. But they only have four cards. We know one of them is a Gideon, which we kill. We know one of them is a Plains. So... So we can actually treachery like their bird and then negative four. We could just save the treachery too because it's pretty good after. So we treachery, we get our land back, right? We what now? We would like the the mana would untap. Yes. So we play the the crisis after. Yeah. Unless you control two of our other lands, we do. Okay. One, two, three, four. Wow, are we gonna Ugin after we like or are we gonna Eureka after how bad we were? Do they just opt to not put anything in? Oh, we get to put lands into play. I forgot we get to put the fuck the lands in too. Are they just not doing anything? No, they're putting lands in. Oh, okay. Um two. I actually kinda want to put treachery just so we can keep up Mystic Confluence. Hmm. Oh, I should have tapped another land. Well, I guess you don't have an opportunity to do that, do you? Not, Not before we play. No, because we put these into play with Eureka, so it's still we're still resolving the spell. Okay, getting rid of this is actually great for us because now we just get to kill all three of these. Um, out of mana. Look, we still got to do it. Two, three. Wow, this is wild. One, two, three. We have seven total mana. So we just negative three here and then play Crassus for like a million. Mm -hmm. You could another also, one card is Gideon. Is that something we need to like keep a counter up for? Gideon? Yeah. Not really. Okay. And we can just Ugin him and shoot him. Attack him with Crassus for five. Like, this is actually pretty wild. I can't believe we're actually doing as well as we are right now. I think we played land. We played this Dream Root Cascade. Hey, we can't threaten him with no presents after we already got his stocking. You getting a little chilly? No. Okay. My fingers were getting cold. 
Dude, that was a wild swing. I don't. Yeah, I have no idea what just happened. But Eureka is a fun card. I don't care what other people say. I know it's. I know it's a card that's poo pooed on a lot. But I think there are definitely fun decks with Eureka. I mean, Eureka Ugin seems like a good, uh, right. good outcome most of the time. Okay, so they have Gideon and whatever they're playing now with this five mana. Sure. Boy, do I not care about that. Well, it's got protection from your Hydra Crest. It's true. I didn't consider that, I guess. Is it zero? What? It's the stone. Does it? It's casting cost is zero? Uh, yes, but it has to be one or more colors. Oh. Otherwise, that would be sick. Just negative zero. Yeah, I'll just shoot you in the face. Cast. Um, return a creature, draw two. Does that sound, does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. And now we have two creatures. So they can play Stone Coil, block this, we attack for one, put them to three, and then kill them with Ugin. They did. Oh yeah, this is this kills them actually. If they played Gideon and Stone Coil eh, this guy's trampled, so I guess it doesn't matter either way. Well, he's eight eight. Right. I'm saying if they played Gideon and Stone Cold for two. Oh, I guess it, maybe it mattered. I have no idea, actually. Ah, oh. Dell oh, biscuits. Dude, imagine you had that in your hand when you were uh... just another, just an Eldrazi. Do they have a Bone Shreddery deck? What are we? What did we play against? Creatures. They weren't particularly amazing. We saw Gideon. Tireless Tracker, I think. Tireless Tracker, Knight of Autumn. Yeah, Bone Shredder could be good. Mot watering? Oh, she's doing some plant watering. Go around. That guy could be good. Triple black is a little rough, though. They were playing Gideon, which generated a lot of tokens, and they were also playing... Oh, yeah, I Garrett. think it'd be good. I just don't like the triple black, because sure. we only have, like, four black sources. We could Eureka it into play. Oh, okay. Now you're talking. Now you're speaking the good language. I'm going to play it like this. I think it's good. What are you guys saying? Okay. Just talking about murder. Buddy, I was just talking about some murder. You ever murdered anybody? No. No, I can't say I have. After this round, I'm going to get a drink. A stiff Christmas drink. Hey, bro, are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Mana drain into the ups. Keep. Is your flight looking okay? So far. That's too bad. And also number one on the first class upgrade list. That's pretty good. Wish you luck. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. They went Soul Ring into Smuggler's Copter, which was pretty decent. What if you mana drain them into Upheaval? I, I literally said that. <laughs> the only problem with that is they can just go land Soul Ring Smuggler's Copter again. Can we steal their Soul Ring? No. No, I don't think so. What if they turn it into a creature? Like during our turn? Yeah. <laughs> then yeah, I think so. It's very possible. Man, I can't believe that Eureka actually actually won us the game. Sure. 
think four three. Attack with the chopper. Get to the chopper. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Dude, what were they thinking when they printed Smuggler's Copter? I don't know, dude. Why does it have to be a 3 3? It could be a 2 2, a 2 1. 2 2 would have been so much more a fair. 1 3. Yeah, like yeah, there's so many different power and toughness that this card would be reasonable at. They make it a 3 3. Play untapping on turn four with treachery. Oh, God, play something for like five. Man. I don't care about that. Snatch up their Knight of Autumn. That's what I was thinking, but they have to play something that costs more than one. View dungeon information. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we're at the cave entrance of the Lost Mine. That makes sense. I, I could have told you that. Could you? Probably not. This isn't going well so far. I don't want to talk about it. Are we up a game? We are up. We just won the game. You were here. I don't, couldn't remember if we already lost one or not. No, this is one one, or one zero rather. They didn't do anything. This is wild. They didn't attack. They oh, they did, did attack. attack. Okay, that was all they did. The problem is, it's very obvious we have mana drain here, and they have no incentive to play any other creatures since they have seven power on the board. So. You gonna block their Knight of Autumn with your Arbor Elf? Probably not, no. I'm really proud of you. Why? You haven't muted the mic in a little while. I know, right? You're learning. Keeping my hands to myself. You're like an AI program. You know what? Whatever. It's gotta be done. Get wrecked. Now we have enough to upheaval. And they had to, then if they want to attack with Smuggler's Copter, they have to crew with the Knight of Autumn. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, what up, Sammy? Happy holidays, buddy. And they did. They want to attack with the Smuggy. Are their ha is their hand crap? How much mana do we have next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. Eight. Well, we have one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Oh, right. Five with the land. And then three for this. So eight. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get Ugin. Oh my god, that would be so so juice. Juice. Mm, juice. <laughs> I love a good juice. God, they're just kind of like Nissa, Garrick. The heck was that? That was Katie downstairs saying juicy. Oh. Baby, you still got your headphones on? Yeah. It's a lot of delay. Okay. So three mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of like steal this. Mm -hmm. Go down to seven mana. Okay, we can actually go one and tracker, right? And then one, two, three. We have one, three, four, five. Treachery, untap all four. Play archmage. Let's do that. Get wrecked.
234. Is that it? Yeah. I can go Archie. That was a decent turn. Yeah. All right. Mana Drain and Treachery are magic cards. Those are real things that people played. In. Next turn, we can Upheaval. Hmm. <laughs> Not as thrilled about that one. I just think with Soul Ring and Avacyn's Pilgrim and Smuggler's Copter, we have to have a really good upheaval follow up. Because if we don't, they will. Was that Uganet? Oh man, I'm still waiting, but I don't think we can cast it anymore. Oh, well, now we probably can. Jeez. Free path, huh? Um, Were they passing? Knights? Yeah, they passed. No, they passed our Glenelendra. So now we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Getting closer. Nice. And we get another clue out of it? What a deal. We're falling into our trap. They have no idea. Alright, hold on. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna shut the window. You wanna shut the window? Sure. It's getting chilly in here. The sun is no longer the sun is no longer keeping the the temperature at equilibrium. Yeah, babe. Let's have our wedding at Disney, and we can we can uh, we can pay for all the guests' tickets and flights and hotels, yeah. <laughs> right? And food. Yeah, we're gonna have to take out a Kerwitz four hundred one k to do that, though. Unfortunately. I take it silence as confirmation. Oh, they put their own their own knight two from the top. So there's their deck goes three to night right it's a third from the top or second from the top third. second from the top we were both wrong i thought it was third as well second from the top that three life you gain okay they have no cards in hand this is interesting i don't know what's going on in this matchup anymore okay so now they don't have whatever they drew they have to just discard it Maybe we'll get to Ugin next turn. That's actually really good with upheaval. But we don't have what it takes. You can run it out right now. That's one? I probably will when I crack this, but it doesn't really do much. See, that's good. Now we've got it all. Dang, 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 dang. They're going to kill this with night, though. Fudge! But I guess they don't kill this, but I don't know what's good anymore. Well, I mean, if they kill Corsair, we're kind of boned. Because then we take a whole bunch of damage from like putting all those lands back into play. Right. Maybe they'll just give it plus one, plus one. Dude, I don't go to Casa Bonita for regular dinner, let alone for for wedding dinner. Maybe still playing Overwatch. <laughs> I ask a question, and then like five seconds later, she answers because of the delay. Oh, she watered the plants too. The only card in their hand is Knight of Autumn. So I can't imagine. Maybe they just don't care about Corsair. Okay, well, they're just going to have to play it now. That's unfortunate. Because I'm pretty sure Corsair and Fast Bond could get us back into this game really easily. Maybe they're just plus one. They're definitely not doing that. But what if they do? But maybe. Probably not. What if they just do nothing? That would be cool. I would appreciate that. They're not doing nothing. I feel like that's not... Yeah, that's not going to be what they do. Maybe they'll gain four life. Maybe they forget this is an enchantment creature. Maybe they do. Lots of things could happen. Oh my god, they did. Oh my god. Oh. In no world is that correct, right? Uh-huh. Oh, there's another land on top. 
Oh, we're going to live the dream here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is this is it, right? We just go fast spawn upheaval, and then we gain we gain a life for every land, so it's free. Oh, this is this is more lands. Come on, yes. They're all lands. <laughs> Get wrecked. You done screwed up, AA hey, hey, Ron. You did. You done messed up. Oh my God, there's more lands on top. It's just mo it's just lands all the way down. Tractors going ham. <laughs> okay, so wait, do we have nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we can actually go Arbor Elf Upheaval Tracker or uh, Courser. I mean, keep we want to make sure to replay this before we start playing our lands out. Oh, fast bond though. Yeah. I mean, Dang it. Keep putting land though. Oh, I guess we could just take one from this, right? So that's fine. Well, I mean, you just keep putting land though. This is insane, dude. Why are there this many lands on top is really my question. It's, it's like, like your whole deck. deck. It is like my whole deck. This is enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten mana. This is eleven. OP's like that's a sweet combo. Okay, we just win the match. They didn't even see the combo. <laughs> oh boy, that was a that was a thing, man. Yeah, this is the one time I'm like, oh, ten lands? Sure, that, that was sounds ridiculous. fine. I've never heard of such a thing. I basically owned my own Oh, and we we're gonna get drinks. Dang it. I basically owned my own luck. I was like, you know what? If there's gonna be ten lands on top. I might as well take advantage. What? This actually doesn't seem terrible, Dude, right? Dude, imagine this was Ugin. Oh, because we can Eureka turn one? <laughs> but then we don't know what they have, yeah, so it's yeah, really yeah. scary. Let me go get drinks. What do you want? Anything that's cold? I'm not really... Not a picky, not a picky man. Yeah. Five lands... I think I want to play these now because if they just play anything like for two mana that kills this, I don't know what that could be. Naturalize, disenchant, things like that. I think we can probably safely pass. I feel like the odds of them having a two mana card that does that is low. Usually things like Trigon Predator, Rex Sage, all cost three. Yeah, that guy's fine. I don't care about that thing. Terastodon. Let's go land. Land. You have to draw one card. Treachery. Big Tretch. Check it and see. Okay, Embroth Shield Breaker, not super exciting. <laughs> Is yours the Mountain Dew? Can I get the Mountain Dew? Yep. Okay, cool. Because I just had a Cherry 7-Up this morning. Okay, that's good. Oh, Old Infernal Grasp, huh? That's fascinating. 
actually steal this. Keep up grasp. This is me assuming they're not going to have much better targets for this. And then we're going to get in there with the old Chrysis. This is a situation where I just wish I had Mystic Confluence. Treachery and Mystic Confluence is probably one of my favorite. I don't want to say combinations, but pairs of cards that play well together. Yep, Cost of the Hammer is good. Cost of the Hammer. gonna be honest kind of, kind of tempted to do infernal grasp this mountain so i'm gonna do it that'll teach him that will teach him oh oh now we're see now where you're gonna eureka oh. because we just drew kozilek that'll get him you know i hope it will they've, they've got, got two cards, cards in hand what is the possibility that it's better than terastodon and kozilek it's it feels low I'll start with Terastodon. Thunder Moth. That's fine. Kozilek. You got him. Hazard. Okay. You got it. Um, let's get rid of your Caracas, your Koth, and our Fast Bond. Oh, you could have killed their runaway steam kid. I mean, you could have sacked it, right? No, you have to. No, oh, it's creatures, right? Sack it. What do you mean? Terrastodon's not creatures. Yes, but it's also yeah. But then we'd just be trading it. I already got three three. Why I kill a three three to make three three? Oh, in case they kill your enchantment <laughs> with the red the red deck. They got white. You don't know. What do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six cards. We have four blockers, and we're at sixteen. I think we're actually pretty safe, especially with Kozilek. The only thing I'm really afraid of is Thunder Moth, but. We can take three hits and we're both in top deck mode, but we have a Kozilek. We have a Hulk. Remember that from? I do remember that. It was a good moment. It's always weird when I have like close to 100 viewers, but then like no one's saying anything. And I'm like, is it broken? Oh, they're just not going to. Fascinating. <laughs> so we can attack with this bounce it and then replay at some point. Sure, let's do that. Um Hazaret does have indestructible. So you attack, they have to sacrifice two things. Four things. Four things. Annihilator Quattro, my dude. Well they they might as well just concede, right? Yeah, now. it's not looking good. Because they still have to then block these guys too. Yeah, relax and Sam, you could say so. Wow. Fifteen, twelve, three, four. Haha. <laughs> Wow. Well, that's kind of cool. Dire Fleet doesn't hit anything, unfortunately, but there's still two bodies. And this is just deals damage equals its power to target creature. Yeah. So it just deals two to... Okay, we just went... <laughs> oh, but we also cast both of these for free, and then we can add three red for something. That doesn't do anything, but... Oh, we can cast this for free. Add three red, and then play this with Kicker, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We won, but I'm just trying to figure it out, you know? Boy. 
our deck's kind of cool. Just doing the things that people want to see. Do you want to show and tell against the mono red deck? What did we see? We saw Hazaret. We saw Hazaret and the Maw. Thunder Maw Hellkite are like their scariest things so far. How's the new Garak? I heard he's pretty good. Okay, wow, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Oh, man, that's classic. What if there is a new Garrick in Neon Dynasty that they just spoil? I feel like Garrick's a little off-theme, but then uh, by that token, Tamiya would be off-theme for every set she's been in. So, I mean, I like Mascarum, but it, casting the Triple Black is kind of difficult. If we're not... Not when you've got Eureka. I think Bone Shredder might be, might be good here. Eureka's Castle. There it is. Eureka's Castle. Let's shred some bones. Yes, I would love to worm them. Maybe, maybe we just, maybe we just live the dream. And play show and tell mask worm. Live the dream. Upheaval sounds bad. Fast spawn seems bad. Massacre show. Um. Just play forty one. You know what? For old time's sake, I'm in. What up, Corby? I was cooking and I noticed somebody touched my spaghetti. Did they do that? That's terrible. Did you still eat it? Somebody touch my spaghetti! This is another situation where we can go uh, put these guys into play and it feels like they'd be better. Oh, God. Also, anything we draw before now, between now and when we play Arby's Elf is pretty good. Or, uh, Arby's Eureka. Elf. <laughs> Library of Alexandria. Fascinating. That's going to save you. It's not, really. I'm going to take the two here, because we're going to take it anyway next turn, unless we happen to just draw Natural Forest. I probably should have waited. Could have played Blooming Marsh. <sighs> it's all right, Frank. They'll I wanted to get out of the way. I wanted to be done with it. They'll be dead soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And if they kill this guy before we begin to activate it? They didn't. Okay. Okay, good. Everything's working out. Do you ever, you ever, you ever try to untap this before you even tap it, and then you just look stupid? All the time. Sorry, buddy. Well, if the land is on top, we can go Eureka and then put these three into play. If not, you can evoke Muldrifter. True. Or we can we can maelstrom pulse something. It's an old meme, but it checks out. <laughs> That's true. Eureka's castle. Cool. <laughs> but it wasn't that cool, actually. Dang it. Oh, now they know about it. I think we just small drifter here. Yeah. One, two, untap you. He said because it's literally the only thing he could do. So now we have three cards that could be... Wow, dude, that's fucking terrible. Three cards, no lands? Jeez. You got ten lands in a row last game. I know. <laughs> oh, boy. So now they get to know about both Mana Drain and Fallen Shinobi? Jesus. Thanks a lot, Corsair. What a jerk. I mean, they're kind of playing behind as well with, like, activating Library of Alexandria. Because it's like, well, okay, but... Sure. <laughs> This is what it's like to be a jerk. Joke's on you. I got Findhorn Elves. Oh, I can play Elves and keep up Mana Drain? Well, yeah, let's do that. This game ain't over. Next turn, be Eureka. Maybe Eureka. <laughs> got him. Classic.
I think they've drawn like seven extra cards. What if they have like the gas now? Michael had the gas earlier. He did. <laughs> what was that? There was that ten sausage that did him in. Eight was probably okay. Wait, what'd you say? I couldn't hear you. You yelled something upstairs and I couldn't hear it. She said we all have gas sometimes. We do all she said we all have gas sometimes. Okay. Rika's castle. I mean, we're obviously not blocking here. They know we have mana drain, which is so much worse than if not knowing we have it, right? They're just gonna pass. They're gonna be like, I'm not gonna do anything. They have seven cards in hand? That's so many. Joke's on them. Is it? It feels like it'd be on us. You do it. What are you doing? Eureka. Actually, we can Eureka and keep up Counterspell. Does that do anything? Who knows? If they have freaking Thundermaw Hellkite, though, it's pretty bad. We're pretty much dead if we don't do this. <laughs> okay, smart guy. One, two, three, four. All right, here goes nothing. Big bird. I guess I should have lived this. No, they can't. They can't resolve spells in between, though. Yeah. Dire Fleet? That doesn't matter. Glenny. Glenald. They did nothing else. Fallen Shinobi. Okay. That's interesting. Pass to you, my dude. Oh. Yep, that'll do. It taps all our guys, and then they attack from. It just taps the flying ones, right? Yeah, but then we only have one blocker, so we can't block this guy. So we're already taking five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Well, that was tragic. Still think we're fine. We just, I mean, we drew like a not a lot of not lands. Oh boy. It's up to you. You tell me. Tell me what to do. Guide me. Play it. Old strategy, Cotton. You think they kept a no-land hand? <laughs> a no-land hand? Maybe. Well, this has taken a while. For sure. They have so many good options, they don't know what no, to like, do. I, I can't even decide what to play first. That's a good first play. In response, to I'll draw. Okay, sure. <sighs> we lumber next turn. You mean attack with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are they going to do? Nothing. Exactly. Cool. Nope. You got it. <laughs> this actually gives us a lot of mana to work with. Yeah. So anything we draw, we got that pulse. You know, it'd be great. Mystic Confluence. Stone Rain. Bribery. I don't think we have bribery in this deck. Pillage. 
Yes, all those things. Discarded Abbot and Lightning Strike. That was good. You weep and guy with it. Funny D, it'll burn your throat. You gonna jump a seasoned pyromancer if you attack? I was going to. That'll teach him. Yeah. He has hexproof, so the risk feels low. Did I overpay? Cancel. Activate. Green, blue, calls. I think they have a combat trick. I mean, all those red pump spells? Yeah, the plus one, plus oh, and first strike or trample or something. My creatures have hexproof right now. Mad hexy. I'm, I'm hexy AF. Draw that card. Don't do anything, but definitely draw your cards. Lucky did it. Got him. So satisfying. I got the hammer to stand up without holding it. We had Sunny D Mimosas this morning. Mistakes were made. Yikes. Who's that? Somebody come in here? What's that? Is that Watson? Hey, Wally, what are you doing? Pro mugs. What are you doing? All right. Uh, it is still too early to talk about Spider-Man, yes. I do not want to risk spoiling it for anyone who hasn't seen it or who watches this on YouTube and, and has not seen it. Love you, little bud. What did he exile? Uh, a char. Direfully Daredevil just as a 2 1? What is happening right now? Okay, so now you're just full on off of your library. Wow. Oh boy. Well, this becomes a 2-2 two, two, and then a 4-4. Four, four. I feel like this is probably killable. But then they had 5 mana last turn. They could have easily played, like, Thunder Maw if they had it. Let's go, I guess. Of the Lumbering Falls. What? No, we're the deep, we're the we're the they're the beatdown right now. Yeah, we're not gonna win that race. I guess you can still block with your Lumbering Falls. Yeah, that was what I was. That was the plan. Stan, are you okay? Yeah. You hurting yourself? Yeah. Okay. Come on, God. No need is your mind. Ooh. That was a red. Well, they can't attack or block because they have three cards in hand, so they're probably going to play one more card. 
Is this two is two fewer than one or fewer cards? Okay, so they have to get rid of two cards in order for Azra to do anything. Uh yeah, okay. It's gonna die. Can I just eat that? Did they just forget? I don't know what's going on, dude. They forgot. So confused. Are they just changing their mind? Okay, wow, that's great. Wow. All right. Love and life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugin one time. Give me an Ugin. Ugh. What the? This is really obnoxious. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards that produce mana and one maelstrom pulse. Card. Hopefully your last three cards are land. I guess you can discard two right now to, to get in there with Nazaret. Oh boy. Boy, 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 boy. Oh, that's that's good, I guess. Eat. Swell. I mean, the game we won was cool, but what? Fireblast? Oh, I guess they can attack with Hazard. Yeah, that's pretty good. Guess we'll... Weird choice. Like, I get to block two of these guys, so you're, I'm only taking, like, one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I probably want to block here because if I take ten, I go to five and I'm just dead to this. So at least now I'm at eight. And I take five, one, two, Ugin. Cool. Another land. Got it. Well, at least I uh at least I was given a reasonable chance and that was a game of skill. That was fun. Oh god. It's been exhausting. <laughs> like it's just the worst when I'm like, okay, first game I literally couldn't draw a third land even after Mull Drifting, and second game I can't draw a third spell. So, you know. Oh a lot of spider me. Maybe we can 2-1. Do you ever think about that? More like slow bond, am I right? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, you just yelled. Yeah, you right. I don't think she's... I don't think she's got her headphones on anymore. I think she's just responding to me talking out loud. Did I miss this? The interaction, yes. The cube... Yes. The random bullshit that mag that is Magic the Gathering sometimes. No. Snap it off. Snap. Sneep. Sever a sneep. Oh boy. So now we can go this, turn three this into this. Oh, they're just going to mana drain it. Oh, no, they're not. They're going to play a stupid signet. They're on storm. Yeah, it, it always concerns me when they go island to island signet. Oh, well, that's actually fine. I didn't do anything. We go one, fast spawn. We have one, two, three, four. I don't think it does anything. Like maybe after the tracker's out? I guess it doesn't really matter. 
Who knows? Who knows what happens? Mm -hmm. He dead. Yep, they're gonna lightning strike it or abrade it or some bullshit, like you do. Fat Daddy. Bo Diddy. I'm gonna grasp the. Yeah. Feels correct. The rabble. Go on my turn so they can't have a counterspell. Well, they can't have a, an efficient counterspell. Then we can just crack. I guess we could play this. Still crack our clue. We could also just Maelstrom Pulse these two, but I don't think I care about them that much. I'm just going to play this and keep Clue cracking up. Keep cracking. Release the Clue cracking. Oh, dear. Good thing we kept that Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, dear. Papa don't like. They're just throwing it out there and not using it? No, maybe they're just going to do it post-combat, you know? Little weapon. Sounds good. Neat. Swell. Uh, yeah, probably not gonna do that. Why did they run their mana crypt out if they weren't gonna use it? They probably got some bullshit they got. You ready? Yeah. You ready for the BS? Oh, I'm ready. Here it comes. Yep, you can see the, the once this once this solid fucking highlight line comes around your card, you know they're doing some bullshit and they're choosing modes. So it's either Cryptic Command or Mystic Confluence. That's neither, but I guess that's better. I don't even know. <laughs> oh boy. Still don't know why you played Mana Crypt for that. And you lost the flip. Okay, cool. Sweet. Gave us a free lightning bolt. I'm very confused about everything that's happening in life. Hmm. They play a big fat thing. We can treachery it. Yes, yes. that's what we wanted to see. Oh, so badly I wanted to see that. Two, three, four, five. Pulse this. Cross your fingers that we can draw mana drain to protect. Does not. That's fine. It's no Consecrated Sphinx. Ooh, it's daytime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can just cast this. <laughs> that seems good, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You gonna blow up your fast bar? Yeah, 100%. And there is a signet. Got it. Cool. Fine. Yeah, I was going to get rid of their two red sources and fast bond. Oof. Double consecrated sphinx. Oof. Where's it's going to be fun. Where's a laboratory maniac when you need it? When will you be done? Um, after this round, it is, this is the third round, so probably about 20, 30 minutes. Probably less than 30, but more than 20. You're attacking with a worm. It's unblockable. Oh. And they get to loot. Fair. And we get to draw a card. Oh, we get to draw two cards. Upheaval and fast bond. Sounds good. Sounds good. Imagine you upheavaled and then you re could. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So here's what we can do. We can just play this. Let's 
Simply have had one day for Christmas time. Do do. Mood is right. Chicken wings. Eating them. Mm -hmm. You got 2,000 land plays left. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that it says that. They're like, well, we can't say infinite. So we have to have a, an actual number to... Oh, boy. So I'm tempted on people, but we don't actually have enough to protect things. Just go for the fun play. Play the consecrated things. It's still six mana. I want to keep up counter spells because they have things that can harm us. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't want to die. That's what I'm getting at here. Plus, we get to draw two next turn. Could have drawn four. You could have drawn four. Oh, I guess I should have played the Arbor Elf. Shit, that's what I should have done. Because then this thing would have flipped back. I'm stupid. That's fascinating. Very fascinating. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just messed up. Dang it. Can you hard cast it? Hard cast what? Uh, Coslet. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, for sure. You need 10, not 11. So I guess I can't then. If I have 11 mana and he costs 10, I'm unable to do it, to do it, yeah. All right, and it came back. I don't, I don't really understand the purpose of that nonsense, but... You Kozlik upheaval and Kozlik again? Yeah, well, don't, haven't you? Everybody does that. Ragavan himself. Fascinating. Yeah, that was dumb to not play the Arbor Elf. Oh, that's that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so now we're just at a point where like we're probably not going to draw. Eureka. Eureka for two is interesting right here, isn't it? Or, uh, not Eureka. Ugin. Actually, they have three cards. We're going to Eureka, aren't we? I was also going to fall on Shinobi here. Maybe we fall on Shinobi first. What if you Eureka first? And then fall on Shinobi. And don't put it into play? Yeah. But yeah, that's probably better because then it's a little more... A little more guaranteed to resolve. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. It's Michael B. Going down the stairs. See you later. So you only have to do two to kill all this stuff, right? Yes. Uh, Consecrated Sphinx. They have three cards. Arid Mesa, sure. Kozilek. Scoop. Another land. Uh, let's go Arbor Elf. Scoop. Splinter Twin. Okay. Sounds good. You, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Land. Ugin. Okay. Um, let's go negative two. You, oh, Sphinx. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. Splinter Twin will just disappear. I guess I don't actually have to do this right this second, right? No. I can attack with Galena Langer to return it using this for mana. Two. One, two, three, four. Turn you. Okay, <laughs> that's all they needed to see, I guess. Oh, boy. The Kozlik wasn't enough. No, the Kozlik and the Ugin weren't. They didn't do it. They were like, you know what? I, I still got this. Even though I put all the cards in my hand into play. <sighs> so what are they playing? Dirtles? Rabble Master? I want to bring a Bone Shredder. I wish I had a Swag Bay here. That'd be good. show and tell good did they show anything that was any interesting? not really maybe we do just bring all these guys in again and then we can take out fast bond and upheaval oh, 41 oh, 41 i don't even care 
We are currently 1-1. One, one. Thank you guys for all the subs and donations. Love you guys. I'll try to stream a lot more during the Vintage Cube season. Because I'm also off work until like the week after next. Be. So thank the you. Tree. Oh, Corby, thank you for the for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'll also be uploading these to YouTube if you guys miss them. Uh, yo, this is a turn to show and tell for a Kozilek. How's that sound? <laughs> Let's see if this is nearly as good as like channel. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it now. <laughs> oh, it's still a two for one. It's still okay. We can still go tracker into land next turn. Like, wow, that was actually not bad. I don't hate it, bro. That was the first Twitch stream you started watching? That's awesome, dude. Eureka. So here's the question. Do we go Courser and try to hit a land on top or Tracker? I think it would be Courser. Hissing Quagmire. It's going to be on the top. Oh, Treachery, huh? See, that's even better because now we draw the Treachery, and if there's another land on top, we can just play it and steal one of these. True, and Treachery kind of, like, will stop them from playing anything good. You're right. But also, I don't want to take this because if you flip these, they exile and then come back to play, so they would get the Planeswalker half. Sure. Suspicious throwaway seems like it would be fun. To steal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. It's just like a strict upgrade to Merfolk Looter. I mean, like, it's only not strict if your opponent has shadow creatures that you want to block. Or you're playing well, Merfolk. No, but that can... No, it's not even Merfolk, though. Looter Okor is a... You're thinking of... Merfolk Looter. Okay. Is that what I said? No, I don't think so. Maybe not. I might have said that, actually. What I meant was Looter Core, The one that just attacks and then you loot. Then you loot. Look how good a, four, a, four, a fourth man... I said I said Merfolk Looter. Yeah, so I was I was stupid. Kurt was right. Do you think they're going to counter the Starless Trigger? They didn't. Man, a land would have been good there. We could play Treachery. We could play Gilded Lotus into Infernal Grass. We could play Treachery into Guild. No, that would that would take two more lands, I guess. You know, be good right here. Eureka. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't kick a Eureka out of bed. <laughs> oh wow, that was aggressive, buddy. That's not even that's not even nearly your problem. Oh, another a bayou on top? Oh, boy. Do we play Gilded Lotus here? Into Bone Shredder, perhaps? Hmm. Sounds ready. One, two, three, four. I don't want to take this. And plus, if they counter this, then we have Treachery still to take it. So I think they're definitely countering it. They have Mana Leak because they have all the things they could ever want. Yep, there you go. Congratulations. Very good, very good. No, I don't want to play three because I have no mana left. I only have one card in hand. They go up to three, though, because they can attack with this guy and they can draw a card, so that's good. George is getting upset. What is Jace's ultimate? Uh, negative nine. You get an emblem with whenever you cast a spell, I mill five. Yeah. Consecrated Sphinx? Oh my god, really? They're going to Consecrated Sphinx and we get to... Oh, they're going to... Damn it! I was so excited for Consecrated Sphinx, even though they had five mana. Well, they are living the dream here, especially with Jace Time Warp in the graveyard. Boy, this changes everything, doesn't it? 
Man, one mana leak is really all you need, I guess. Remember when we played Show and Tell and we thought we were going to put Kozlik into play? That would have been good. That was fun. Those were the days. Oh, look, it's a little ragged van. What if we get a turn after this? That would be neat. It would be. I don't think it was worth playing Ragavan when this flips. I mean, can they even attack with Ragavan? Not really right now. Like, we just block it. If they have a way to deal with Corsair, like a Char or something, they can, but otherwise I'm just blocking. Oh, they're just waiting for me now. Oh, they activated that guy. Okay. Uh, block can kill Ragavan, I guess. Wait, why is oh Ragavan's not dead? What? Oh, because they negative. Sure, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five. Shift around this guy. Look, you got him. One, two, three, four, five. Bone Shard or Ragavan? That feels correct. However, I think we should have played this and floated so that we could have kept Infernal Grasp up. But they have two cards in hand. I'm going to hit this Jace. Because Jace being a three means if they want to... Oh, they're going to... What? They let you strike you? Yeah. They have one card. So if it's just like Lightning Bolt, they go Lightning Bolt, Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike. Well, that's pretty good. But we do get to kill during upkeep, so that's great. I'm a fan of that. Mm. What's going on? Somebody got a toy? I can't tell. Katie buys the dogs these toys that sound like crinkled up newspaper inside. They're like stuffed animals, but inside they're like crinkly paper. And I can never tell if they're chewing on something important like documents. Or if they're literally just playing with their toy. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, huh? Discard a card. I think it's causal like here. And Once we... you get all your stuff shuffled back. Oh, but we don't get the blue. Oh, yeah, that's actually better. What? So we gain a life. Oh, but that's not as worse. The pro plays. One, two, three, four. Glenny. G -g -g Glenny and the Jits. They have one card in hand. Oh, they're like in top deck mode. That's good for us. They gonna die. My stream crashed your screen. Oh, crashed on your screen. I was like, oh my god, the power, the power. Yeah, come in, come in with this guy. We're definitely blocking, and if you want to trade, that's fine. Okay, what the heck? that'll do. That'll do. Thank you guys for watching. So far, our vintage cube record is three zero one two two one. So we're really, really filling out the curve nicely. Thank you guys for hanging out for the support for the for the subs and the and all the things and the stuff. And I hope you guys have a great holiday. Hopefully you guys will tune in, support the channel if you want, and check out some more Vintage Cubes. And uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for, for hanging out, and I really, really appreciate the support and you guys still being here. I'll see you guys soon, because I'll definitely be doing some more Vintage Cubes. 
So uh, slam those buttons, and I'll, I'll see you later, guys. God, Kurt's like the Mike B of ice all of a sudden. I'll see you later, guys.